Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel, episode 9 of The Walking Dead Season 2. I do apologise that it's been so long since I've reviewed a Walking Dead episode. Basically, try to get my schedule back on track, try to get these shows back up to, to, to what it is. But anyway, we're here to talk about episode 9. Not about to jibber-jabber about random stuff. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and of course, let me know down below if you enjoyed this episode. It was quite a good one to say so myself. And spoilers ahead, of course. Let's go. So this episode was really good in the sense of, obviously, we had the bar scene with Rick, Herschel, and Glenn facing off against the final couple of people who were in the area. Um, quite a horrific scene with Randall putting his leg through the one of the spikes on one of the gates. And he was basically left for dead, but obviously Rick, in his moral sense, saved him. Uh, it built up, you know, more tension between Rick and Shane. You know, Shane went out for Laurie after Laurie had that crash. <laughs> and, you know, playing his lion games, telling the whole group that she's pregnant. And just basically creating these conflicts. Uh, you know, Shane still believes... Rick's not good for the group, and then you got like Andrea sticking up for Shane, thinking he's good for this and that, and basically she just doesn't know what to do, so she's basically siding with Shane because I don't know she doesn't want to chat shit about Shane, but you can see the people who support Rick, Herschel, put Rick Shane in his place in this episode. You know, John Burfell's a great actor, but you know everyone hates Shane. That's just the way it is. Um, it was just like shut your mouth, you know. He, he, uh, healed up Randall, you know, Dale knows what Shane's like, and you have all these different people having different opinions, perspectives on what's going on. You know, you've got Beth being a dramatic little bitch, letting bed, you know, fainting at random shit. Um, I think it's one of those random storylines ever, but you know, they just have to throw it in there and for more of a reason for Maggie to get pissed off at Herschel for drinking and being out of the blue, out of the way. Um, you've got Glenn who was terrified and now he's been mortified by what went down, you know, hiding in the alleyway. Um, like a coward, as he would say. But uh, ultimately, you know, he was stunned. He was shocked by what was going on. You know, I wish there was a moment between Rick and Glenn where <clears throat> Rick was like, you're an important part of this group. What you do for this group is incredible and we all respect on what you'll do and we, we won't put you in those positions again. Um, something like that, I think, would have been, been like a nice <clears throat> edge for the group because it shows Glenn's importance, but also Rick cares about his safety at the same time. I thought it was a great episode for her, she'll realise what was going on, you know, after the barn scene and realising that there is more death out there than he anticipated with not just the walkers, but actual real people. Um and yeah, I think this episode delivered properly and in a good way. You know, the Carol and Daryl stuff's good. And what I love about the Daryl and Carol stuff is, you know, Carol's trying to get Daryl involved and she can see the good person in Daryl. Daryl's just pissed off at the fact that Sophia's dead and that Carol couldn't do one simple job of looking after her. And I think it's not the fact that he's angry or wants to distance himself from the group. It just, I think the group reminds him too much of what he failed to do in a sense. He blames himself for Sophia's death and he's taken that toll on. And ultimately, I think this is why he's one of the best well-written characters in the show. You know, you, you've got Rick leading the front, Shane trying to boss everyone about and do things differently. And Daryl's just there in the shadows, taking these tolls on time and time again, you know, with the loss of Merle, you know, disappearing into the world, Sophia's death. And Carol. <sighs> Seeing the good in him. It's a lot to take on. It's a lot to, for him to deal with because he's not used to people. He's not used to anyone but Mill and his dad. And, you know, having the hunter aspect, the hunter abilities, and that's what you see from this guy. I think it's the a, a really good season so far. You know, only four episodes left. It's a lot better than I remembered it to be, but it's still, you know, it's... The reason why I say it's a weak season is because it's not got a lot of zombies. The only big episodes was the zombies was episode seven or eight, which I can't remember, with the barn scene, and then the finale where they have the most zombies I think they've ever used on an attack, rather than you know the most scenes they use in Atlanta, where obviously they didn't really do much. But yeah, ultimately it's a really good episode. You know, obviously things tend getting higher and higher between Shen. 
and Rick. And what I hated about the end of the episode was Lori basically pied Rick on to kill Shane. Rick felt, you know, annoyed at himself and frustrated that he had to kill people to get back to Lori and Carl. But he said he would do anything and everything to get back to them. Um, and then Laurie was like, so you'd, do any, you'd kill humans to get back to us? And he was like, yes, of course. And she's like, well, Shane's a danger. Shane's this, that, and the other. And you could see Rick's anger fully come out. And he realizes that Shane has to die one way or the other. There's no gray area. There's no way around it. Shane has to be killed. Um, but he's a good person, Rick. So he's not just going to kill him. He'll find a way to talk to him, to make him come to his senses, stop loving over her, you know. But as we know, and as all the people who have read the comics, volume one or season one and two, you know John Berthold is only in it for two seasons. Um, that's fact, that's knowledge. If you didn't know that, it's not a massive spoiler in the sense of because Rick is Rick's story. It one day becomes Negan's. You know, you've got Carl's story and then Judith's story and Daryl's and Carol's and Michonne's and Andrea's and Dale's and Herschel's and Maggie's and Glenn's. So many people built from these characters that were created in the first couple of seasons to becoming iconic characters in the TV universe. But this was a brilliant episode, a brilliant, well-paced episode, a good story and good continuation of what a story in this season is about. Let me know down below your thoughts, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.